Hi, I'm Lance DeLang with Yada Yada. Do you have pain in your thumb? Do you have difficulty gripping or holding on to objects? Perhaps you have a very common arthritis in your hand, and perhaps you're going to want to watch this video to learn more about what may be causing it and what treatment options could be available for you. So let's talk about arthritis in the base of the thumb. This may be called basal arthritis or degenerative joint disease of your first CMC joint. Fancy terms to say, hey, I've got a pain in my hand at the base of my thumb. This problem is very common to occur. It typically occurs at the base of the thumb. When the long bone at the base of your thumb attaches to the wrist, there's a articulation there with the little bone called the trapezium. This is a very common part of the hand to develop arthritis. You may notice a deformity to your hand. You may notice a lump or bump, or perhaps it doesn't keep the same contour, and this bone can have some alignment where you'll notice some angulation or changes with your hand. It's very common to get pain in this area. This can often limit your grip, holding on to an object, or picking things up will commonly cause a pain in this location. Let's now look at your x-ray and discuss what might be found if you have this and are seen in a healthcare professional's office and obtain an x-ray. If you look now, this is a normal healthy bone, and this dark line in between these bones is a normal healthy articulation. This is what we should see throughout all of these different carpal metacarpal articulations. Now let's look over where the arthritis exists in this individual. This little bone that's kind of smashed looking, this is your trapezium. The trapezium is the bone that sits at the base of the thumb. The long bone on the side of the screen here is your base of your thumb. This is a very common place to get arthritis. Let's discuss what we might see on an x-ray, and these can always have a varying degree of change. In this particular individual, the bright white areas in the area of the arthritis, this is known as sclerosis, hardening of the bone. The dark area that's supposed to be between the two is very irregular. Here we're showing a bone spur. Here is the dark area that should be nice and smooth like our first example. In this case, you can see some lumpy irregularities, narrowing with limited space between the two. And the base of the thumb has an irregular appearance as the bones have been grinding against each other causing this deformity. This bone you can see should actually be sitting closer to the other bone. So it has subluxed, it has moved off to the side. Because as this has collapsed, this deformity has developed. This may be why you might be seeing a bump at the base of your thumb. This is a very common location in your hand to get arthritis. It can be limited to one side of the trapezium or to both sides as it articulates with the next bone. At any rate, how you can treat this may vary and mostly depend on your symptoms. Symptoms you're likely having if you're experiencing this problem are pain, most commonly, and perhaps stiffness. As mentioned, you may be noticing a deformity in this location. There are a variety of treatment options that could be available to you. An anti-inflammatory could be used to control inflammation. There are topical formulations by prescription or over-the-counter that could be massaged into the area to help control pain or swelling. Immobilization could also be of benefit, but could serve as a two-edged sword. If the thumb has a lot of arthritis and repetitive activities are performed, you might get increased pain or discomfort in this area. However, if it's completely immobilized and you no longer bend or move it, the arthritic joint might also get stiff or sore or more uncomfortable. Often people find the best results with a varied approach, limiting their activities as to not overdo it, yet keeping the joint mobile with simple movements and uses. Splints can be purchased over the counter, which would come up and immobilize the thumb. Most of these splints would have a rigid portion in the wrist, as well as a part that comes up and excludes the thumb. These splints allow for motion of the fingers, but limit use of the thumb. They can be very effective in resting this location. However, they are very difficult to use at times because our thumb is what seems to separate us from the rest of the animal kingdom. 
Without a thumb to be able to move, you will find yourself very limited. However, this may be required to give you adequate relief. Other options could include icing it. Heat often feels better when it's bothersome. To put heat on it may give you some symptom relief. However, you may find better results if icing it afterwards to control inflammation. This could be as simple as putting an ice pack on it or perhaps using an ice cube to rub over the area. Be careful, of course, not to cause frostbite and overdo it. Other treatment options if you seek medical help could include a cortisone injection or a steroid injection into that location. These can be very helpful. They may be temporary from only a few days to several weeks or several months. A cortisone injection, however, cannot correct or cure this problem, though you could get extended relief for an extended period of time. Studies have shown that steroid injections could accelerate the degenerative process and actually accelerate your arthritis or make it get worse quicker. Be sure to discuss this with your healthcare provider as you are discovering which choice may be best for your treatment. Other treatments could include surgical intervention. There are a variety of techniques that could be performed to correct this problem. Some include removing the bone and replacing it with artificial bones or artificial cartilage. Some could include removing it altogether and taking a tendon and balling it up and putting it in this location. What might be best for you would have to be discussed between you and your surgeon considering performing this procedure. They can be very successful but are not without potential risks or complications, so please discuss them thoroughly before making your decision. You don't have to sit home and suffer with this, but this problem is not an emergency. As long as you can put up with it, it can be tolerated, though it can become more problematic if it's left untreated for too long. So if you're having pain in this location and your symptoms suggest to you you may have this common arthritis condition, please seek out medical attention and care. As always, stay safe and be healthy. Thanks for joining us.